Hi everybody, Bean Meister 22 here, and this is week number two of my new Black Widow Spider Tank. Okay, it's a jar, but we're calling it a Spider Tank. And I guess this is about time I should mention for the disclaimer, yes, this is educational video purposes only, but really do not try this at home unless you are a trained professional. As for us, over the last two and a half, three years, we have became become trained professionals at this kind of thing. You remember my previous tank failed, and we'll make a video about that. Okay, so there's big news. So we're going to do a flashback clip right now. Bam! All right, Peanut the cat is meowing here, and I'm just going to let him meow because, I, yeah, anyways. If you remember, last week's video, we showed the setup of the Black Widow tank. Well, about an hour or so after I set the tank up, as I was bringing it inside, I found this. If you remember, when we dumped the salt shaker with the Black Widow spider and the egg sac into the tank, well, the Black Widow ended up up on the structure, but the egg sac was down on the bottom of the tank. Sometime during that last hour or so, the Black Widow climbed down to where the egg sac was and carried it up and placed it on the underside of the structure. And really, I don't know why this surprises me that much, because if you remember years ago when I showed you the first black widow laying an egg sac and i caught this black widow i put it in a container it laid an egg sac i filmed it laying an egg sac and every time i would look at it the egg sac would be in a different place the black widow would move the egg sac around and i thought that was really weird and maybe out of the ordinary until i saw one of leo kim videos videos where the black widows australian black widows redbacks some of the bigger redbacks in his tank would take the egg sacs from other black widows and collect them all in one area. So I guess it's very common for black widow spiders and redbacks to move their egg sacs around. And that's kind of weird, kind of creepy too, right? So we're flashing forward to the present. Now this week, as we look at it, yes, there is that egg sac which the black widow carried up and propped up on the structure but we have another scary development bam now there's two egg sacs in the last week the black widow laid a second egg sac that's two egg sacs that's one a week which leads me to mention something else i'm not going to do it in this video but i made a video and i guess i'll upload it when i get a chance of where i put a black widow in a container and then just pretty much ignored her and it pretty much proves what I have been saying, that a Black Widow does not need a food source, because this Black Widow did nothing but lay egg sacs and eat the spider babies. Yeah, but that's a whole other video. So anyways, back to this video. One thing I did learn on this new spider tank is this glass jar is probably not the best optically. It's not all that easy to film through. So maybe the second Black Widow tank that I'm kind of setting up, I might have to go back to a square fish tank style tank. And with that, we won't have the benefit of a lid that screws on tightly, but we'll have to figure that out. But let's see if we can just kind of push through this. And remember, we learned this idea from Leo Kim video. Go check out his channel. Oh, and one other thing, I don't know if you can hear them or not, but there are doves all around here, and they're whoo-hoo, they're not owls, they're doves, they're making all kind of racket, but we're going to ignore that, and we're just going to try to push forward. You can see what this Black Widow has done in the last week. Both egg sacs are up under the structure, Once you know, they're up both on the structure. I had put a couple crickets in there, remember, and some ladybugs. And you can see she has strung those up because initially the crickets were put down in the bottom. So she would have had to go down there, attack them, and drag them up. And like a terrifying creature from a horror movie, she goes down and catches them and strings them up. And eats, uh, eats on them uh, whenever she wants to, I guess. And I will unscrew the top and I will put another cricket in there this week. And we'll see how okay, or maybe two crickets. Yeah, it's a big, it's a good week, right? One cricket made it all the way down to the bottom. Good for him. But one got hung up in one of her webs. You can see how her webs are kind of, uh, I don't know, stranding downwards like Christmas lights. And there's a cricket, and it is triggering the spider's attack sense. And here comes Black Widow. 
And as you know, the Black Widow will turn to face the opposite direction of the prey, shoot some web, stick the prey in the web even more than it was stuck before. And then she will go in for the bite. After she does the bite, she'll just wander away because she knows, number one, the prey is not getting loose, and number two, the neurotoxin is taking effect, and the prey's not going anywhere, and then it'll be a snack. Now, at her leisure, there's be no surprise here, she will go down there and take the paralyzed prey and drag it up to where she is storing her food. So it's so long, Cricket, but hey, these were feeder crickets. They were raised for this purpose. They only exist for this purpose. And even the ladybugs we put in here initially with those flightless fruit flies, they were all raised in captivity for, well, one purpose or another. And remember, if you learn nothing from my videos, I hope you learn this. There is no mercy in nature. This is nature. This is what happens. You get caught in a spider web, you get eaten. The big eat the small, the strong eat the weak, this is just how it is. The weak animal in the herd gets thinned out by the predator, and not, not by the predator, you know, by predators, wolves and hyenas and lions and cougars. And I guess by the predator too, if predator came down, it, yeah. So yes, spider tank, this is our second attempt. This is week two. There have been a lot of changes. I'm guessing by week three, we might even have some more web in here. Who knows what will happen? And once again, for those of you who do not know the story, black widows don't live in my area. Suddenly we got infested with black widows very shortly after we ordered a very large toy collection online that came from Southern California, black widow territory. We've hired multiple exterminators, tried all kind of weird things and bug sprays and traps and everything to get rid of the black widows and we've not been able to get rid of them. During the winter time, they pretty much go away or hibernate. In the spring when it warms up, we find them again. Found four black widows last week and we will show those in another video. And as I said, if you wonder how you can get so many black widows can all start from just one black widow or one egg sack, look at this. This single black widow has laid an egg sack a week so far. How many babies are in there? 50, 100, 150? All right, so there you have it. Spider tank, jar week two. We have seen the shortcomings and we have seen some very interesting developments. Very scary. All right, so did you learn anything today? Have you ever seen this kind of behavior before from Black Widows? Do you know anything about Black Widows? Leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. And if you want me to sub your channel, just leave a comment saying, Hey, sub my channel, but just, you know, give me a chance. Give me, you know, several days or a week to get around to doing it. And if you've asked, hey, sub me, and I haven't subbed you within a week, just let me know. You can, you can send me a private message. Can we even do that anymore on YouTube? Or just comment, hey, I will get to it. It, it doesn't cost me anything to sub your channel. It helps me keep track of the people who view my, my videos, and I can get a good conversation with them, as well as I get to learn about all kind of cool channels I would have never discovered. So just say, hey, man, sub my channel. And I'll say, hey, man, okay, I will. And then I'll do it. All right, and as always, thanks for watching. Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.